Hello anyone here watching now or later and welcome yeah, now we still haven't agreed actually on <laughs> on how we're going to keep doing these introductions so <laughs> we can call that the introduction there uh, either way uh, I'm Hillian along with first mate Rakir and welcome back to okay. Tales of Monkey Island <laughs> with a very uh, with a lizard that's uh, probably going to get his soda <laughs> privileges revoked <laughs> at this rate and no, let me correct this here. Uh, I changed up the position of my camera again. There we go. That should be better. Uh, so it it has a a more frontal view of me again. It it does block where the chat program I have would normally be, but I can just move that to the other side here, or I can just keep an eye on things with uh, well above there. <laughs> Either way, uh, yeah. Last time we, yeah, last time we got started on Spinner on this chapter, uh, uh, yes, we did, and uh, yeah, we were tasked with finding a bunch of artifacts to summon a bunch of, uh, yeah, fish uh, gods, which we haven't gotten to yet because, uh, yeah, that little rage virus that we unleashed uh, has now caused a the place to be bare. Uh, to be blockaded and instead of sending well the now human lechuk after the uh, guy in charge because he'd actually be competent uh guy brush has run off to go do it himself to try and impress elaine oh dear yeah here it says demanding the sponge from himself captain mcgillicuddy kidnapped the leader of the merfolk and began a siege on the city Elaine told Guybrush that she would distract one side of the blockade, and Guybrush would have to work with LeChuck to distract the other side and sail through McGillicuddy's ship. Yeah, uh, yeah, sail through to Gillicuddy's next ship. After getting through the blockade, Guybrush confronted McGillicuddy on the high seas. It became apparent that McGillicuddy wouldn't go down without a fight, because every time we try to fight him, he si well, he doesn't sink us, but he does destroy our masts, which is why we were getting this tree here. Oh dear. It's too heavy. Okay. Where? Yeah, we we need to get that tree over to the uh, the spare masts over on the other island. The question is, how are we going to get it there? I know that seems like a good idea, but it's not. Hmm. I can't move it. I can't hmm. just dig randomly. Yep. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to have to trick these two into Where doing it for us. It? Hi. Ah, oh, boy. Try the tree again. Nah, those roots are too thick. There ain't no treasure chest down there. Hmm. I'll leave you guys to it. Arr. Okay, I don't think we can do it with them. Then, uh... I might have to close a window because some of the neighbor's kids are playing outside, so give me a second. Oh, actual window this time, all right. <laughs> you kind of look so, so horrified. Okay, let me... Let's have a look then. Okay, I... The only seem to re I only movement I saw was of the mouth in response to me talking. Yeah, but if, when <clears> you walked away, you had your mouth open like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> uh, okay then, how are we going? We don't have anything to saw this thing with. It's too heavy for Guybrush to move. Hmm. Wait. Oh, me? I'm done here. Back to the narwhal. What do you next time it breaks? You have her swim there and pick it up. Yeah, I was Good thinking that. Back, Captain. Where will we be heading next, Captain? Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm just going to start skipping through those bits because they're going to be annoying having to do them over and over. Uh, let's see. Hmm. This tune is start. This tune is sounding familiar with something else I've heard. 
or it maybe I think it's sounding a bit similar to one of the music tracks from Techno Mage. Hmm. Hmm. Either way, let's go check up here with uh, an enemy to see if we can get her to, well, use the rubber tree instead. Though I think yep. we'll still have to go get our current mask broken again. Fresh bait. Yeah, and I think actually, it's all like from Mill to many other music. Uh, there are many yeah. tracks that are similar to this one. Yeah, it, it's a bit gen more generic than other pieces we've heard. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. Uh, that's her calling you wimpy, guy brush. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> hmm, okay, so we can't... No, I... I think I said her earlier, but we we still can't tell which of these merfolk are male or female. Yeah, no, some of them we can tell. Like, she, we've been able to identify it's a she. Do the librarian is the one that's... Uh, keep changing almost a vocal tone that makes it harder to know if they are um, um, he or she. And uh, their leader was specifically called as a, a, a him, with being the chieftain, sale, the chiefess or something. Hmm. Yeah, they, they switch around it out. For apparently they own show themselves if she, she or <laughs> is a she or he. The only one yeah. we know for sure is a she I is uh, well, stuff to plunder. the merchant. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that, but oh well. Let's <laughs> talk about fish pieces and trying to solve this puzzle. Because the way Guybrush is acting, he's has me thinking. Yeah, well, it, it's not having me thinking. We need to find something more. And why the hell Junkie. is that see through? Oh, oh, don't. It, <laughs> it, it, it's see through for some reason here. There's supposed to be stuff there. Okay, that's a bit weird. Though, again, mm. we've seen worse glitches elsewhere. Yeah. Like, um, is that is also odd and not a game breaker? Where are, going, where are we going to get a freaking saw? And yeah, also the bit we pointed out earlier with a bit of off layering here. It's nothing big, but it's still odd. Actually, now that the uh, now that the blockade has been broken, uh, I guess we could find LeChuck or Elaine somewhere. Hmm. It's a pile of fallen trees. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit blanking on how we on where we could even find something. There's no new areas we can get to. And if we try to go after McGillicuddy, well, we get stuck on Spin Arcade for a bit until we get the mast replaced. But yeah, we need we need to replace it with rubber. But first, we need to get that bloody tree over here. So... Well, we need to break the ship again and tell her to go down instead. Because mm -hmm. she said they are heavy. Yeah, we can try that, see if we can ask her to go to the other island instead. But I get the feeling it might be a waste of time. Still, let's go give it a shot. So, head back here. Yeah, if it works, it works. The only thing we need to do is to break the ship. Yeah. And I can just quick... Yeah, I can just try to skip through some of the bits. So, for now, back to spin OK, back onto the ship, and... Well, back after McGillicuddy. If this doesn't work, yeah, then I will probably give you, give you permission, Captain, Let's to uh, look the answer up. Yeah, look up a hint again. <laughs> Shut up, Scruffy! Scruffy? You know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? Tell me the ritual word, or you'll be sleeping uh. with the fishes! That's where I sleep anyway! Tell me, or I'll send you to the bottom of the ocean! Oh, that'd be great! I need to pick uh. up a few things for dinner. What are those ritual summoning words? You'll uh. never get me to tell. What 
should I do? Find some way to sink his ship. I'll be able to escape once I'm underwater. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing we can do except for trying to gan cannon again, but he's just going to respond in kind and do that. is big enough for all of us. Let the Merleader go, I'll get the sponge, come back and cure us all. <laughs> we ain't looking for a cure, boy. We want to destroy La Esponja Grande forever. What? Listen here, fish breath. Me and my men have been running the sweet trade on these waters for decades. We've suffered everything from scurvy to man-eating shark attacks, but we ain't never seen anything like this fox. It rots our flesh, melts our teeth, and makes our eyeballs bleed. It's turned us mm. into terrifyingly hideous monsters of the sea, and life has never been better! <laughs> you can't be serious! Aye, we like being this way! The box makes us fearsome and powerful, and we'll make us rich. It's what every pirate strives to become, Guy Brush. And I won't leave that cursed sea sponge out there just waiting to take that away. Nurgle confirmed? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Uh, also, uh, I don't think I said it you know, before, but I've uh, because I put the webcam in a better position to get a look at my face, I've also turned the expressions of uh, mode. I, of, yeah, I've also turned on the expressions on uh, VC face again. Uh, so hopefully it won't make me, uh, yeah, just glare randomly again because it has a better angle on, uh, so it can read things better. Well, yeah. The pox is just making you cranky. You'll feel better after a cure and a hot bath. La Esponja Grande is a weapon against the evolution of piracy! I must find it! I must destroy it! You must give it to me! Nice try, boy! Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's feeling funny, punk? <laughs> That's Dirty Harry. <laughs> oh no! You feeling funny, punk? Well, are you? Are you? That really hurt my feelings. Blast and butter. <laughs> you know, sir, I don't mind handling the bill for replacing the mast over and over again. I really don't. But I feel it would be more productive if we could stop the mast from breaking in the first place. Just my two pieces of eight, sir. Yes, thank you, Winslow. Duly noted. I'll get the map. Uh, Let's get out of I, here, Mr. Winslow. Actually, what if we go Onward to... to Brillig Island? Aye, aye, sir. Hmm. I think I've grown past the need to carry rubber trees in my pants. I'll just leave it here. Oh, those two are gone. So, yeah, I guess we were done with them. Okay. But <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's the game saying uh, you're not... <laughs> You're going to keep bashing your head against a wall with this, so Welcome please stop. Back, sir. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Well, okay. Sail for yes, sir. Okay, now we see if we can get an enemy to uh, go pick up the rubber tree instead. Wait, what uh, do you call her? An enemy. Oh, right. That's, I would say <laughs> that's enemy. the fish's name. I thought it was an enemy of all Wait, what enemy? <laughs> it, no, past the first two letters, it does sound very similar to that, yeah. Okay. Fresh bait! Me again. So I see. What can I get you? I'm gonna need another mast replacement, and I'm pretty sure I found a suitable tree on a small island just north of the Rock of Gelato. Yeah? I'll go check it out. Okay, so... Hey, you were right. Never used a rubber tree for a mask before, but it worked just fine. Your ship is ready and better than ever. <laughs> 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 oh! Be a stranger. 
So Dude. it was that simple. <laughs> uh, and once again, here I was just trying to break my mind about how the hell are we going to saw this fucking thing. It was that simple. Yeah, like with, well, with Technomage, we've had it multiple times now where I run into a gate uh, that doesn't automatically open, and I think, okay, we need to do something to open this, and I just need to push it open. <laughs> Prepare to set sail. Straight up. Yes, sir. Okay, third time to charm. You best mind your own business if you know what's good for you. Do I look like a guy who knows what's good for me? Tell me the ritual good word, point. or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep anyway. Hey, McGillicuddy. Great word. My possibly dead mother could shoot a cannon better than you can. Gah! You be wearing on me nerves, sweet wood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I don't intend on losing this time, kelp sucker. Give me your best shot. It's me, Garbage Threefoot. I need fire. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That'll teach you to mess with Guybrush. Oh no, the Merleader. Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily able to escape. The Vacalians are in your debt. Now let's go home. Good show, sir. I knew you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the Jerkbait Islands before Elaine's pox gets any worse. <clears throat> the map, sir. The uh, what? I like it when you point on the map. Oh, very well, Mr. Winslow. Oh, come on! What? Okay. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow! <laughs> uh... Let's, Let's sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. <laughs> yes, sir, Captain Threefwood. Okay, let's uh, not kink shame Winslow for his map pointing fetish. Threefwood. On behalf of the Mer people of the Jerkbait Islands, I wish to extend our deepest thanks and gratification. Please approach. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guybrush! Indeed. <laughs> I return to you in its former glorious state, your prized pyrite parrot of Petaluma. Ah, it's me, Garbrush Freeport. Mighty pirate. pirate, I know. <laughs> Thanks. If there is anything else we can offer you, please feel free to ask. Your no thanks is enough. And, and your gold. Give us all your gold. <laughs> Sorry, uh, something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. <laughs> no! <laughs> Actually, there is one thing. I sort of caused this pox, and I need a Sponja Grande to fix that. Especially now. What do you mean by that, you worthless piece of <laughs> oh, oh, Excuse me. I have the artifacts. Will you perform the ceremonial ritual to summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? You, Guybrush, are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. Come, give me the artifacts. I will teach you the ritual words. You could just hand them over. <laughs> you don't have to put them in there like a soup kettle. <laughs> Take this and throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea! Come on, come on, boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Huh? 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 You want the ball? Come get it. Really? Those are the ceremonial ritual words? So it has been written. When you are ready, they will lead your ship to where you need to be. Again, thank you, Guybrush Threepwood. And good luck in your journey. <laughs> uh, at, at this point, I should expect the stupid. Uh, come on, Elaine. Let's get that sponge and go home. Wait. 
I just need to check up on Lechuk and those monkeys. You go ahead and summon the creatures. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. <sighs> I'm starting to think Lechuk was less of a nuisance when he was an evil zombie demon. <laughs> I, I thought first it was m mocking, uh, mocking Gabriel to repeat the words. Just did not expect those to, to be part of the <laughs> ritual. Uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if that was the case either. <sighs> uh, uh, he doesn't look like a puppy. So probably uh, why? Okay, do I need to... I I'm guessing I need to activate them on the ship. Uh, summoning ball artifact. The Merleader smooshed all the artifacts into a ball. I'm supposed to throw it into the ocean to call the legendary sea creatures. I don't even see how they fit together. I don't, I don't, I don't recognize any of them. Okay, but let's try it here. But if you go, you could bash them together, but still. Well, there goes nothing. Here, boys, come and get it. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Okay, you're one what? out of it. Uh, oh. Whoa. Creepy. Captain Threepwood. Ah. I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Yes. Yes. Well, almost. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Guybrush. Oops. Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I got a wife to go home and snuggle with. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get us for your grande. You don't need me for that. Besides, I really think I should keep an eye on the Chuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Okay, so she's still a bit suspicious worry, as well. Boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Elaine, I'll be back for you in the blink of a squid's eye. Be careful, dear, and don't put your lips on anything. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, the map. Again with the map? I like the map. <laughs> Forget about the map. Just go. I thought we agreed. You're making us look bad. Just go. All right, all right. I'm going. <laughs> to Esponja Grande. <laughs> Where would we even point on the freaking map? <laughs> Just an inch ahead of the ship every second. <laughs> we almost there, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Threepwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. We'll be fine, Mr. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo-sucking sea sponge in this case. It makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? You again? <laughs> Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Oh dear. Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me. Looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like you always dream. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Ugh. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. <laughs> oh. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's Code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. 
I can't tell if he's actually being dumb or actually being smart at this time. Uh, Captain, uh, something's happening to the sea creatures. Ha! You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. <laughs> Good point. And... Are they being you eaten? Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? Um. The, what the? Um. <laughs> the hell? Lair of the Lava. Was that a manatee with a pug's mug or something? I think it was a manatee with te more teeth than they're supposed to have. The fe te here's the thing here with manatees. Their teeth is so far back, they can't harm anyone. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that is the end of this uh, chapter then. I, I don't actually know if they have any after credit bits. They might actually have, so... Um, shall we let the credits run on this one just to check if there are, is? Or shall we just jump to the next chapter? Might as well for us, is I suspect uh, if they have any credits, they're probably your scenes for the next chapter anyway. Yeah, so let's let them run for the moment. I, I, I don't expect these to be different between the games. Uh, maybe, maybe some people missing or added here. Oop, or there, pardon. Mm. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess you could call say this somewhat bookends this chapter since it started with Lafley getting onto her ship, but it's ended with her getting on the ship as well. A friend of Monkey all over again? What? <laughs> well, this really the something artifacts form together to make a freaking fetch ball. <laughs> <sighs> like we we should we should totally expect the stupid at this point with this series, but still it catches us off guard. <laughs> us off, off guard. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, this bit is a bit uh, yeah a tad generic uh, mystical. Uh, magical twinkling on uh, some string instruments. Yeah, it is pleasant though. True. That's why it's, well, used often for variants of it. Though, nope. I'm a little bit surprised it's based on an actual tone from the 1800s or something, like a Beethoven or something. Just changed up a little bit. Uh, possibly. I mean, this this little <laughs> twinkling bit that is very that's the easiest made to make something sound uh, yeah mis mystical and mysterious and yeah if there isn't anything after these credits uh, then we know we can skip them on the upcoming chapters as well first made monkey alarm Maloney <laughs> red first pirate marzipan marzipan <laughs> Uh, what? Uh, let Kid Beyond. Yeah, Kid Beyond again. Peggy Van Patten. And Roger Jackson as Winslow. And, yeah, yeah. Telltale Tool. Okay, that must be the engine or... that they made, you know, that they used to make all of these games. Probably. Uh, I still, still find it kind of idiotic that you need to restart and start each chapter separately outside the game. Yeah, but after all the chapters were completed, they they should have just made it uh, them all into one. And, uh, special thanks to you. Yes, you. <laughs> oh. Dave for clean workspace. <laughs> Plays okay. <laughs> <laughs> Telltale Pets. Okay, Nit Nitro T1. 
Oh, Monkey Babies, Charlie and Max Stemmler. Stemmler. It... A bit of... I don't know what the hell that you call that instrument in English, but in Dutch we call it a clave cymbal. It's those mini uh, pianos that were popular dur during the uh, French age. And yeah, no, no after credit scene it seems, so yeah, we'll be skipping those in the future as well. Yep. Oh dear. Yep. I, wrong button. <laughs> Again. Uh, that, is, that is so going to be an in-joke or something with me. Just wrong button again. Yeah, and me continue asking, are you sure you're not uh, ready to fling or foo? <laughs> okay. He's a YouTuber. I think you've mentioned them before, but I don't think I've ever seen any stuff of theirs. Okay, game should be starting up now. Yep, depends, there we go. Have, do you ever watch art videos? Uh, actually, actually, I think I might have seen. Um, I think I actually saw a few videos now that you mentioned Arca on with combined with him. I yeah, don't for... think I've watched any of his series through because they take <laughs> they're like ninety episodes each. Yeah, I. I watched some, and also of course watch his uh, AB Orc ABC, where he goes in depth about the dinosaurs and all that. Okay, I'll try but, looking yeah. them up some more. But yeah, it, it, the meme with him is like, "Whoops, wrong button," and a poop sound. <laughs> oh, wait, poop sound first, then "Oops, wrong button." Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Don't forget uh -huh. something. And I need to change up the bits here. You can hear the game, but that's... I probably should pre-start the other chapters just to set their settings correctly. Um, because uh, at the you... moment it's not being caught by... <clears throat> it's not being caught by uh, OBS at the moment. So give me a second whilst I get it to size in place. And then I change this one. So, yeah, each each of them have a different exe. Uh, Berkia can see this now, but the, the previous chapter uh, has the exe of Monkey Island 102.exe, and this one has 103.exe. So it should be catching. There we go. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll pre-start the la the last two chapters after this one to get this set up before and well to have them in OBS early as well so I don't need to manually change it over but for now let's get started on Lair of the Le Lair of the Leviathan then oh dear It is said that we are never so vulnerable than when we trust, but... And I again forgot to turn on the subtitles. <laughs> okay, voodoo lady, uh, sorry for the interruption. Paradoxically, if we cannot trust, neither can we find our heart's desire. Guybrush Treepwood, trusting in his voodoo spell, unleashes a pox on the Caribbean. He escapes from Flotsam Island to pursue his wife, Elaine, and to find a cure to the pox that infects them both. On the Jerkbait Islands, Guybrush finds Elaine together with his arch-enemy, Lechak. With deep reluctance, Guybrush trusts his wife with the former ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. Hunted by the lethal Morgan Lafley, Treefoot must right his wrong by finding La Sponja Grande. For the Parks is transforming the seas into a treacherous beast. And the beast is hungry. Okay, nice bit that they did there with Elaine's hair. That it matches up with the play's sword. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? What? <laughs> well, this is turning a very Pinocchio at the moment. Kinda. 
Oh dear. <laughs> kind of surprised Monkey Island didn't do a inside the beast thing before. Uh, something looks off. She's out cold, sir. Okay, how are you, Winslow? Don't worry, sir. I've got my eye on Miss Lafley. Okay, you were rather chill for having been swallowed whole. Uh, can we get on the ship? The narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. I get the feeling we are never going to see the inside of that bloody ship. <laughs> Just going to tease it over and over and then... Let Hello, the pedo. Talk about roughing it. Better go check it out. Or was it our pedo? Jepedo, Jepedo um, was the. Hello? Excuse me. What is this? An adventurer from the outside. Who are, are you? you? I'm, I'm Guybrush Streetwood, the Cava, mighty, mighty explorer. <laughs> Cava, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact to be acquired for a very important woman. I hate to be the one to break this to you, but you're stuck inside of an overgrown sea mammal. You're not on your way anywhere. Heavens no! I'm not stuck! Quite the contrary! It's all part of the plan of the ocean gods. The mouth of the manatee leads me to the artifact. The seahorses led the mouth to me. Just as I freed myself from the brig of Fat Island by bribing the guard for his bootlace, stringing him up with a pulley fashioned from a stale scone, and then growing at my toenails over the course of a year in order to carefully carve them into a lock-picking kit, I, Coronado de Cava, will walk out of this beast when the time is right! And when is that? I'm on a bit of a timetable. When we arrive at the sacred manatee mating grounds! Oh boy. Uh... Okay. Uh, oh. oh. Oh no. <laughs> Reference to uh, Monkey Island 2 with Fat Island. <laughs> oh um, dear. Let's hope he. Let's hope most of that was just from him having gone a bit mad. Then again, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't sound too off from a, a Monkey Island adjacent game. I, I would say I would be surprised if these two are related. <laughs> How long have you been in here? Years! This journey has been even longer than expected, but the exploration is fraught with unforeseen hurdles yearning to be overcome. You made a lock-picking kit out of toenails? That's right! You didn't try the tempt the guard dog with a bone trick? Ah, that's for amateurs. <laughs> <laughs> that's how Guybrush got out. Wait, I mean that's... <laughs> I wonder what I feel, uh, get a bit of Jack Sparrow feel from that, that guy here. Uh, we'll have to see. So I have this locket I'm supposed to give to you. Oh, oh my. I haven't seen this locket for some years. She's just as I remember. Where did you... What is this? Hmm? Free wood. It is I. Yikes. Well done. You have found Coronado de Cava, and are one step closer to La Sponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. Uh, what crew? And while the pox spreads with every passing moment, you must tread lightly, Guybrush. Years of searching for the sponge have made De Cava unstable. He was always a bit of a sensitive soul, so please, I implore you, do not mention me. Do not mention La Sponja, and whatever you do, do not tell him where you acquired his locket. Where did you get this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? Uh, oops. <laughs> uh. I, um... I... Uh... The voodoo lady gave me the locket and told me to find you so I could track down Las Monte Grande for her so we could cure... She what? Mi Dio! That two-timing soothsaying strumpet! Huh? Lai Sponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion! I'm gone for two seconds and she's making time with a prepubescent picarone! No, no, it's not like that! Eesh, no way. We're hardly even friends. Right. A friend who she gives an invaluable sentimental locket! I bet she never sends you on any quests either. 
Uh, no. Mm. I mean, from time to time, she tells me what to do and where to go with little or no context, that but... That sounds like a quest. She used to give me quests. I thought I was a special. Has she ever made you a voodoo doll? No. I don't believe you! Have you held her in your arms? What? No! I'm married! Look! I don't see a ring, Senior Lybrush. <laughs> ah, I left it with my other hand. I'll kill you. I'm not after the voodoo lady's heart or La Esponja Grande. Then why are you here? Um, vacation. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> Honeymooning, in fact. With uh -oh. your invisible wife. My very real wife. Uh, let me just go oh. get her. <laughs> I shall await her alleged arrival with tantalizing disbelief. <laughs> well, that's turned around pretty quickly. <laughs> What the heck? And now we're going to need to get Lafley to play along. <laughs> oh, this is going to end up so badly. Winslow, I need to revive Morgan and present her to Dakaba as my fake wife. <laughs> my, that reminds me of the time when... Now, Winslow, Dakaba's crazy. Very well. I'm well trained in naval first aid. Do as I say. First things first. Take her pulse and see if she's alive. What? She might be dead? You never know about these things. Her wrist, Captain. Uh, couldn't you do this? Or are you not legally allowed to anymore? What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. This is for Chuck Bender. Hmm. Excellent! She's alive and kicking! Which reminds me, next, remove any and all weapons from the victim. We don't want her thrashing about and lopping off any more appendages. Good thinking. <laughs> Pointedly looks at Hank. All right, I've got her sword. It's engraved with a name, Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, not on the carpet. Now, elevate her feet to help with circulation. Got it. She's going to wake up and kick us. Elevating her feet. Ooh. What's this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Yep. <laughs> Gustavo Free. Prince Hippot Hippolito de Toro. 10,000. New ship, minus 10,000. Lunch, minus 5. Gideon Gimpleg, 300. Funeral payments to Nuni. Who's Nuni? <laughs> who's funeral? And Guybrush Freeport to do still. She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Hmm. I don't know exactly what smelling salts actually uh, r slash do. I know that people use them to wake people up, though I'm not even sure if that's a good idea, really. Get away from me, or I'll kill you! You don't sail another man's ship simply because he left it in the harbor? Uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, the cop. Get up! Okay. Hmm. Oh. There's the gangplank, so we can go up on the ship. So concerned. Hmm. Wait, are we actually going to go into... The Narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. No, we're not. Ah. Hmm. Oh. You're okay, I did not expect him to actually climb it. You station passage. While it may look like it's full of candy, I believe the cochlea is key to this manatee's sense of direction. Wait, we're... We're sticking into its ear? I've seen my fair share of flesh wounds, and this one is world class. A cochlea or inner ear? Hmm. Huh. I may have gone to public school, but I think those are supposed to come in pairs. Okay, I'm guessing the other one here is missing. Huh. 
Wait, are you really supposed to be able to access those from inside the mouth? Mm, the pretty sure not. Yep. Uh, the narwhal's cannon. While it lacks firepower, it does look scary. Yeah, I say it lacks the, <laughs> the other half as well. Uh, yeah, it seems that the weather, weather vane is gone. Oh well. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep, and we can just walk off like that. Seriously? Hmm. Ooh, I almost forgot. What? Pirate Damn. parrot. You never leave home without it. <laughs> yep. It must have been jostled out of my pockets and washed away during ingestion. It's gone forever. I somewhat doubt that. Same here. Right, I was like, I'm surprised I might burp so loud of late. Okay. Yeah. Again, I, I've been very thirsty due to the heat of late, so uh, you know how, how people drink uh, when, when it's at regular temperature and. Yeah, when it's warm. This will let me access the manatee's sinus area. Great, so we do have to be up there? Hmm. Okay, back up we go. Oh, I don't know what we might do. We could screw around with this inner ear some more, but I don't think we'd want that. Ooh, smells like somebody left a carton of milk out in here. Ugh! I don't love that smells. No secret messages there. No secret messages there. Uh, don't... I don't want to cut that. Uh, besides causing needless damage and pain, removing this cochlea to replace the other wouldn't make much sense. And what are we supposed to do it's up Elaine's here? wedding ring. Uh, very much doubt. Elaine was pretty adamant that I take care of this. I should just hold on to it. Oh. <laughs> mm, manatee earwax. Rotten and pungent. Perfect. Oh. Well, there's Wait. our smelling salts. <laughs> Yeah. Is this thought of meant to be anatomy or this animal being severely mangled from the inside? Probably the latter, and well, I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to grow big enough to swallow whole ships. Okay, let's get rid of that stuff. Guybrush? Upsy daisy, moan adversaire. That'll teach you to take a legendary pirate at sword point. You lost your weapon privileges. Ugh. Where are we? We've been swallowed by a giant manatee, and you're about to pose as my fake wife in order to placate a puzzle obsessed whack job. Oh, no, I'm not. As much as I'd love to play house with the Guybrush Threepwood, I'm already late getting you back to Flotsam Island. Listen here, you poor excuse for a pissy privateer. Any more than better you, and the captain will be sending your carcass on a tour of the small intestine. Ooh. Uh, I guess we call this the good pirate, bad pirate routine. <laughs> oh, my. <clears throat> Terribly sorry. I think I ought to rest for a spell. Must have taken a mouthful of something vile on the way down. <laughs> See? That's the pox. It turns people into whatever that was, and it's in the process of ravaging the entire Caribbean. Even Elaine. Okay, fine. But you have to do something for me. Will you sign this for me? <laughs> Two seconds ago, you were ready to slit my throat, and now you want to hang me in your locker? I was just doing my job. Give it here. <laughs> now, She's let's go deal with Cookie Coronado de Cava. You're my make-believe wife, so just act like it. Uh, she's at once terrifying well, and well, adorable. Well, the panty wasted yeah. wannabe has found himself a lady. Coronado, I'd like to introduce you to my wife, Elaine. Right. So, as you can see, there is no way I could be romantically affiliated with the voodoo lady. I am a one woman man. Sure, you are, lover boy. If you two are really just wed, you don't mind answering a few questions? Do your worst. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but easy, girl. Together now. How did you meet? Uh... uh... 
we met, we through, met work. through work. Hmm. Where did you go on your first date? Uh, <laughs> we went, we sailing. went sailing. All right, that's enough. You believe us? Almost. Almost? What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not your rival for the voodoo lady? Just take a step forward. Okay. Both of you. Now, let's get down to brass barnacles. Yeah. When did you even have time for that? I have asked you both a series of personal questions, the answers of which are recorded here on these cards. Mr. Threepwood, you'll be happy to know that your wife has passed with flying colors. She seems to know every single detail of your life. You don't say. Now is your turn. Let's see what you know about Mrs. Threepwood. Answer three in a row correctly, and I'll believe you are honeymooners. Incorrectly. And... It's the bowels of the beast for both of you! Question number one. She was recently affected by the death of someone very close to her. Uncle Wah. Mm. Oh, hello there in the chat, Lil Tree Life. Uh, <laughs> you, you caught us in the middle of a guy versus deadliest game of 20 questions. And I'm fun on my end. I don't know about Helian. Uh, doing pretty well. Guybrush, uh, maybe not so much, but I think we have, should have most of the answers here. Oop, What's this? <laughs> An assassin's ledger. Uh, funeral payment to Nuni. That isn't the person that... Hmm. It might be related. Uh, two Nuni means... Yeah, two Nuni means more... The person you paid for that. Uh, what's these mumbles? This is for Chuck Bender. Oh, those. Okay, Chuck Bender is the answer then, I think. Chuck Bender. Correct. But how? Question number two. What was the name of her favorite pet? That's probably Gomez, because that was the other mumble, just to confirm. Gomez, not on the carpet. Uh, so it's, <laughs> I wonder how she's going to feel about uh, Guybrush having found out, well, not that much, but a bit about her <laughs> so fast. Gomez. Correct. No way. Impressive, huh? The third and final question. What was the name of her first love? Ooh. Is it Gus? The uh, tattoo? Probably Gus, yeah, with the tattoo. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. Yeah, let's see if it is correct. Uh, yeah, there's no Gus, so, but there's a Gustavo. Gustavo. Correct. What? How did you... Well, perhaps I was mistaken. You two might be married after all. <laughs> no, no that right. face. If a guy turns up in a manatee with your girlfriend's <laughs> locket, a man has a right to ask a question or two. Now, about this sponge. The one you are not after. We're just sightseeing, right, honey? That's right, Pookie Pie. <laughs> well, perhaps you would like to join my crew. It could make a romantic tale for your honeymoon scrapbook. I'd love to join your crew. I'm Gaga for scrapbooking. We'll find La Esponja Grande in no time. Magnifico! What's next? A stool sample? No, you look like a man of fair constitution. Now, any questions? Uh, Elaine is going to be so fucking pissed off when we find her again. Yeah! Oh dear! You have a crew? Are you counting your mood swings as members? I set out from Flotsam Island all those years ago with four other brave souls, all of whom were to play a special role in finding La Esponja. I may have been a stern leader, but I love them like sons. Were you forced to eat them? I would have rather starved than see harm befall them. Alas, they perished in the belly of the beast long ago. The torturous demise. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I can still hear their screams. 
Yeah, they might actually still be down there. These sacred manatee yeah. are right. It's the home of La Esponja Grande. That's correct. Hi. Okay, oh, see you later, little tree. Miss Evelyn Tree, thank you for visiting. When are we due to arrive? Wifey is uh, getting antsy. Ah, well, I'm afraid the manatee has been lost for some time now. Lost? He's not a eunuch, is he? His plumbing is still in working order, but his internal compass is another matter. How can you tell? <laughs> around and around he go. I have deduced that the problem lies within the manatee's inner ear, so I'm oh. crafting him a new one. That explains the spinning. How are you building an inner ear? I am weaving the husks of manatee throat grubs into a new cochlea for the beast. It's the only way. If you could bring me some, we'll save precious time. I'm on it. Uh, it looks like all we have to do is skin a few manatee throat grubs for the old man, and then build a giant synthetic cochlea to replace the missing one up in the ear canal, and we'll be on our way. Or you could give me my sword, and I can just cut our way out of here. I'm not letting you slice this poor fellow open. Manatees are gentle giants. Guy brush. Back off, Susie Slicer. Easy. Whoa! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, love him! Oh, hello there. Uh, oh, there goes Easy Street. Smooth. Thanks for the push. I've never seen an epiglottis before. Uh, hello. <laughs> Drink. Uh, I think we just found Dakava's crew. What say you, digested scum? What were you calling scum, Geppetto? You! Uh... Well, uh well. Welcome to paradise! Uh, paradise? The land of ever-flowing relaxation, soothing tunes, and all the i you can stomach. Ew. What brings you down here? Just looking for your run-of-the-mill manatee, Coplia. Hey, we've got the That's enough. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, that would be a secret of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? The democratically united Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. United we stand, together we part. And you guys just live down here? You mean live it up? It's our own little slice of heaven. Feel free to stay, but please don't rock the manatee. Uh, Here's the plan. You uh, charge Johnny Cirrhosis over there, and I'll jump the leader and eviscerate his vitals. The square playing the bongos shouldn't be a problem for either of us. Whoever gets to him first scores the kill. Personally, I'll be going for his throat. He looks like a biter. I don't think that's a good idea. You're <laughs> right. I'll keep my distance and shoot for an artery. No, no, I mean, we can't just slaughter these guys. The voodoo lady possessed Dakaba and said they were necessary to getting the sponge. Well, what's your plan? I'm going to go talk to them. Talk? Mighty pirates don't talk. We don't have time to talk. No, oh, sweetheart, this is what I do. So just sit back, relax, and let Guybrush Threepwood take care of things. Go relace your corset or shine your pauldron or what have you. Fine. <laughs> But don't come running to me when negotiations fail. Why the hell does she have only one of those? <laughs> and she's making fun of us. Uh, well, he did say that there were four crew. And, uh, well, he is number four, it seems. Come here often? This be interesting. Oh, dear. Guybrush um, Threepwood is the mightiest pirate in all the Caribbean, and LeChuck is a pansy. Say nothing if you agree. <laughs> oh, right. come on. Strong, silent type, huh? Get you later. Don't work too hard. 
And also, you. Yeah, that. <laughs> I do not. I don't even want to imagine. Whoa, brother. Watch the brew. Party found. Sorry. Do you really like this stuff? Do walrus whiskers tickle when they kiss you? Boy, do they. But I'm what? going to say that he's insane. Hola, I'm Moose, and that's my boy Santino. He has a name? Uh, yeah. It's more of a moniker. Like the Santino, he's the coolest cat I've ever known. Ah, right on, dude. Can I interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes you just want a quick rush of i -Corp. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man. But that means you gotta double up next time. Fair enough. Huh. Is there a substantial amount of lead in your drink? Nah, man. This is pure, unfiltered i -Corp. I got hooked on this stuff when we landed down here. You're drinking it. You better believe it. And it flows in abundance, my friend. Hey. Well, What's at the funnel? What? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? It's important to celebrate life, brah. <laughs> He just called it. What can you tell us about the missing Coco? Nothing. Yep. That's a secret for brothers only. I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. You'd have to talk to Bug Eye about that. He's our unofficial head honcho, hombre. Uh, See ya. Later on. Let's not investigate this matter much. <laughs> yeah, but, but what is it? He is drinking. I could. What, what is the I could? Uh, actually, I might not know what I know. Probably, yeah. Ugh. Are those manatee flesh bongos? Yeah, they produce a great sound. I think it's because they're full of bile. Maybe it doesn't work that way with people. It looks a bit like something else tied up like that. But a bit upside down. Wait, he said. Bile. Ahoy there. Oh, hi. You're in charge of the tunes, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes me. I can relate. I went through a mouth harp phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Mighty Pirate. Mouth harp? What? I'm Noogie. What's your pretty girlfriend's name? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan LaFlay. Why? You think she's hot stuff? Well, yeah. She'd chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, so it looks like these guys are going to be a, a well, the stereotypical group. Like you have the stoner, you have the nerds, and the other one is going to be the jock. Oh dear. You enjoy it down here? Oh yes. I would have never been able to abandon Coronado to Cava. But once we split, I realized what I'd been missing. I'll never work mm -hmm. for another tyrant again. Democracy makes life worth living. Gives me a voice. The humidity doesn't get to you? You adjust to it. Sorry if that was audible. It seems that my phone likes to on uh, silent mode itself sometimes. You would not hear it. So do like not worry. Me. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. Oop. Well, he digs it. The manatee does not. Let's see. Okay, so that causes the bile to rise, but only temporarily. I get the feeling we're going to have to flood this place. Piles of fabulous treasure. But what I need is a voodoo sucking sponge. It's locked. Okay. The, the hell is that? It's a ship named the Howler Monkey. Howler Monkey? Haven't we heard that name before in this series? 
Hey, we might have. Fish eyes alabaster, anarcho socialist pirate philosopher. One day I hope my portrait has such a fancy plaque, soiled and forgotten in the bowels of a manatee. <laughs> Moist, but expedient. And. <laughs> yeah, let's <Aliens>. not. <laughs> Don't make me bonk you. <laughs> I can't reach it. I can't reach oh, it. Oh no! Do we need a, to use the correct one to get over there? Yeah, and I think. Uh... Wait, wait, please, let's please let's be the boat. We also jump for the boat, step, please. <laughs> Okay, that was the wrong one. Then, well, the last one remains. Me. Uh, um, okay, that way is blocked. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Then my first idea is that we have to ri raise the bio level, maybe. Uh, but first, let's go talk to number three here. Ahoy there! I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Bug Eye. Well, I've been doing some thinking, and I'd like to join the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Is that so? Yep. Although I'm applying to the Oligarchical Society of the Alpaca Farm as a safety. This wouldn't have anything to do with a missing cochlea, would it? No way. I just like the cut of your jib. Well, admittance is as simple as a unanimous vote, even for a pirate such as yourself. We're a democracy, after all. Noogie, Moose, Santino, and myself founded our collective after growing tired of slaving away on the crews of tyrannical adventurers, always after some meaningless trinket. Like, say, a giant sponge? Precisely! We're never going back to our old lives. The Brotherhood was formed to make sure this adventure is a never-ending one. Down with the man, and all of that. Would you like me to call a vote? Not right now. Okay, uh... <laughs> I do like his tattoo work. Yeah, is it? Quite the interesting character, character design. Uh, yeah, so we're going to need to bribe all of these guys into liking us. You're a real killjoy. I don't take kindly to ruffians messing with the dynamics of the Brotherhood. Aren't you a bit like the tyrants you claim to hate? I don't appreciate your inference, sweet roll. We do everything democratically down here. Noogie, Moose, and Santino carry equal weight in every decision. How about your decision to be a jerk? No, that one's all me. <laughs> At least he's honest. Uh, fish eyes alabaster, what? Fish eyes alabaster. Renowned uh, philosopher or a spooky old man who lived at the end of the lane? Fish eyes was the first to see the honor in mutineering. He was a professional lookout for many years until the strain ruptured his optic nerves. It ruined his face, but expanded his mind. He never worked another day in his life. We soldier on in his memory. Okay. Later, Buggy Bilgewater. So long, three wuss. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I think the first thing we can do to get, well, a Moose's vote is to probably, well, the problem is going to be this one, since they're kind of dead. Hi. What's up? Well, Tell me about no. Icor. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here's the orange. I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy palate. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. Okay. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Diwali. Woohoo! I probably could have scrolled through there to get some. Um. Uh, 
Okay, so while he's doing that, we can get to the tab freely, but... Hmm. Hi. What's up? Think I could count on your vote? Man, that's a tough one. I try not to get too wrapped up in the politics of the group. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you can just ride the wave. I just vote for whoever Santino goes in for. Okay, so if we can uh, somehow get the skeleton to vote, <laughs> he votes in. And, uh, yeah, it sounds fun, but uh, it doesn't really work if there's a bunch of assholes just... Yeah, it working through the, their way to the system because yeah, the uh, Hitler and stuff. Uh, Hitler got to his point democratically, and well, we all know where that led. See ya. Yeah. And well, even then, it could be hardly called democratically because a lot of it involves intimidations and such. Uh, uh, I'm forgetting the oh, details, but. What is it? Hey, what's with the attitude? I thought you were a fan. I am a fan. I just thought I was a fan of a ruthless buccaneer, not some sensitive pastry chef. Hey, pastry chefs are tough as nails. Okay. I need to infiltrate the Brotherhood and find the missing cochlea. Sounds like a personal problem. How have the stories been warped in Guy Brush's wake then? You know, you can't just go through life cutting throats and de handitating people. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Watch me. <laughs> okay, I'll be back later. Take your time. Pretend wives sure are fickle. I wonder what my real wife is up to. Probably pining away for her mighty pirate husband. <laughs> oh, well. Meanwhile. Okay. Just speak of the devil. And she's hey, going to give hell of the devil. The <laughs> like the devil. Makes a man feel alive. I would imagine that simply having a pulse is a bit of an upgrade for you. <laughs> How many more of these filthy creatures do we need to unload before we can meet up with Guybrush? Dozens. Seven more islands and one peninsula should suffice. Seven? Listen, Chucky, drop all the simians on the next patch of dirt we pass, and then we find my husband. We can't do that, Elaine. These monkeys need to be given proper homes, far apart from each other, for their comfort and happiness. And ships can roast an open flame for all I care! <laughs> okay. Elaine, you don't mean that. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. I do apologize, monkeys. Lush homes all around. I do apologize for the inconvenience. No need to apologize. Actually, it's crazy to say this, but I'm proud of you. Really? Look at you, going out of your way to set things right. Who ever thought LeChuck would do such a thing? It's only the beginning. Yeah, he is doing it to <laughs> to get in your good gra graces, <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> and really, one of the monkeys was t using two others to look over the edge. Oh dear! <laughs> Come here, Alvin. Get you later. Don't work too hard. Hmm. Okay, how do we go about bribing you then? Yugi, my man. I could really use your vote to the Brotherhood. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. Well, let me do you a favor. Like? Oh no. <laughs> I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan Lafay. Really? You think she'd say yes? To a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow. Okay. If the date goes well, you have my vote. Deal. 
In the meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Hazing rituals? By law, we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call them enhanced initiation techniques. Sounds delightful. One day, coming up. In, Wait, enhanced what? initiation <laughs> techniques, Hazy? like enhanced... In, in, <laughs> What the heck are they talking about? I, what? I'm missing something here. Uh, hazing rituals are basically... <coughs> uh, yeah, sort of extra thing after uh, initiations done by... Uh, uh, I forget the word for them, but you know, like those university groups uh, with the whole Latin words, things like uh, Lima Sigma and such? Oh... Uh. Uh, yeah, hazing is typically an extra you know, did an extra bit after uh, that's done by the students or the members themselves that they force the new uh, member to go through, uh, which could be well basically just about anything is generally something stupid and often dangerous and uh, people have died because of stupid shit like that, like climbing on a building on top of for something. So okay. yeah, yeah, maybe have something similar to Sweden, but. It's the same every year, it was homeless, like, dress up silly. In yeah, fact, that would be less game. hazing. Uh, hazing is more dangerous, typically. Okay, no, okay. Basically, illegal in the rest of the world. Yeah. Now, let's check this Read manual. The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior, a guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation and Youth. Hmm. The cover is loose. Okay. Okay. Ain't it only the USA doing hazing them? Nope. It can really? be pretty much everywhere, I think. Oops, wrong button. Alright, well, I think I only see hazing happen in USA then. Now it's the more. Oh, hello, we can actually get back up here. Did they expect that? Hmm. Yeah, we can look around here some more then. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly known of it happening in the uh, in the states because, well, it's a big the freaking place. To rebuild the manatees' inner ear or cochlea, they're remarkably comprehensive considering they were drafted by a whack job. Oh, and uh, as we all know, Hollywood seldom moves everywhere. A steamer trunk. It's probably full of junk or secrets. A bucket full of grubs. I really hope food isn't that scarce in here. Yeah. Dakava's home uh -huh. in Cochlea. It should be ready in a decade or so. Let's see. Anything else? There's something to the side here. Okay, we can't actually look at any of that. So back to Crazy Pants. Yes, yes Grumman. What the? What do you want me to do, Captain? Gather grubs! Time waste for no man! The tea. Why do you want La Esponja Gordo again? It is a unique voodoo artifact. One afternoon, whilst strolling through her favorite Hexer's market, the voodoo lady mentioned the power of the giant sponge, and I could not think of a more noble gift for my buxom bewitcher. And you've been on this quest ever since? Couldn't you just water flowers or a custom shrunken head rack? Imagine her face when she opens the box! Isn't this thing gigantic? Well, when she removes the box. <laughs> She's going to see it all the same. But even he doesn't know her freaking name? Yeah, uh, Boxum Bewitcher? <laughs> Funny thing about oh, your Oh dear. Oh, my crew. Say no more. I don't want to get emotional in front of a new crew member. Oh, other cries haunt my dreams. We're going to have to chase those idiots back up here. What you doing? I'm working on the replacement inner ear, and you should be finding me my materials. Great. Grubs. All right, then. Take care. How do we even get those grubs? I uh, don't think there's anything new around here, then. 
So, yeah, back downstairs then. And, okay, yeah, we actually got rid of the stupid earwax. Did he just do a flip? Yep. <laughs> uh, can we act look at... No, we cannot. Nice show, at least. Uh, we need to get her to agree with a date with him. Oh, what is it? It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? Kinda portly if you ask me. Come on, you should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I've found enough romance for one day. Well, what about... Did I say date? <laughs> no, I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot! It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Uh... Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. <laughs> Second, you must... Uh... Take his hand. Test his grip. In case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly, <laughs> interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Okay, so... Check for weapons. Test his grip. And then interrogate. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. I... I hope we could just pick randomly of those. <laughs> that's the least that's going to get her to kill him, I think. At least likely to get him to kill him, I think. <laughs> and she realized she's been tricked. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? Terrible. Uh oh, what happened? She put her hands all over me. There was no warming up to it or anything. I think she's desperate. Oh, she was so forward. I'm a guy. I could be physical, but I'm not a piece of meat. Yeah, okay, so there's that. a poor wow. meat. I'm sorry things didn't go as well as you'd hoped. It's not your fault. I just don't think she's for me. Well, do you think I could have your vote anyway? I don't think so. Let me uh, go talk to her. I still see love in the future for you two crazy kids. Okay. <laughs> that face. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a yeah, it's going to be a. What is it? What were the findings of your mission? I don't think he's much of a threat. No. File him under Pansy with a capital P. Uh, oh no. I need you to go on another recon mission. Who this time? Well, Noogie again. I just don't think our information is solid. Really? Okay, I'll do my best. That's the spirit. It's a three-phase operation. First... Alright, think on this horde now, Helion. Yeah, build up to it. Just burst talk. Let's figure out where... Okay. Second, you... Uh... Take it... Okay. Check... Okay. Oh, interrogate. Test his grip. And then... Check for weapon. You got it. Thanks. That sounded. That line sounded way smoother than before. Yeah, I was skipping through it a bit as well. Uh, I meant more like. Uh, oh, no actual. Hey, Noogie. That was the date. At first, I was really nervous. Yeah. But it turned out great. She was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice. Then she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. Mr. Big Stuff over here. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. The perfect date. Glad to hear it went well. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Get uh -huh. creepy. <laughs> uh, sorry. 
Okay, here's the thing. I'm very neutral to all keeping hair thing. Like, some situation, sure, I understand. Like, you save a lock of hair of your firstborn or something as a memory. But... If, if it's from so another <laughs> adult that you've been interested in, I'm pretty sure you should ask for, well, permission. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah, yeah permission first and all that. And maybe not have... Like, I know there was popular in the post had them in necklaces and all that. Either in a locket, a locket. But... Uh, I say no to that. Maybe... Maybe keep it somewhere more respectful or something, or maybe not keep the hair at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go through. The, uh, actually, no. I should. I should have asked him to speed up first. Hmm. Let me out of here, and I'll spare your miserable life. Uh. Hello. It's locked. Wait. I know who it is. I think I know who it is. Can, oh, is that the right option? Yes, it is. Yeah, all unlocked. My hook is pretty handy. Uh, but sometimes I miss the old opposable digits. Speaking of... I do like this transition bit. Saxon, the molecules are synthesizing. The formula is actualizing. Science! I have science here! Uh, pretty sure you- oh. Uh-oh. Okay, the first part was the death is... But I don't know what the rest is. Is he? He is going to make a more a worse version of the pox, isn't he? Or he's going to make a... <laughs> A zombie serum. Say hello to old friend. Oh, upon thee, foolish mortal. You have unleashed certain doom upon all your feeble fleshy kind. For the wrath of Murray shall be very funny. <laughs> Hi, Murray. Freepwood. I suppose I should have expected this. Long time no see. How'd you get trapped in here? I'm not trapped. <laughs> okay. What were you doing before you chose to hang out in the treasure chest inside of a manatee? Well, my legions of undead marines had brought an armada of Spanish clippers to their knees when a mighty tempest tossed our ship. I don't remember hearing about any battle with the Spanish armada. Ha! As if we would allow a soul to live to tell the tale. Would you like some help? Help? Ha! Help? I will end you! Okay then. Well, it was nice talking to you, Murray. Um, maybe a little. Come again? <laughs> Perhaps a lift. Oh, you'd like help. Let's go, pal. <laughs> ah, it's dark in here. Why does it smell like rotten marmalade? <laughs> it's <laughs> Mary again. <laughs> uh, it's our good friend, the skull from <laughs> well, the uh, curse of Monkey Island. He, he was also supposed to be in uh, Escape from, but. Yeah, we, we couldn't finish that, so we couldn't find him there. And we also would have found Stan in, well, Curse of Monkey, in, in Escape from Monkey Island as well. <laughs> so I guess one loss and one win. Uh. Oh! You having a good time? You and I should team up to take over the manatee, sail it to Booty Island, and sack the harbor in a storm of blubber. I'll take it under advisement. I see what's going on. We need to distract Moose. Make him drink dense with the skulls. Yep. Hi. Sir. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Okay, let's see. Pirate History Month, Fruit Tuesday, Dia de los Mortos. <laughs> Take your daughter to work day. Okay, I was expecting more here, but oh well. Dia de los Muertos. Woohoo! Actually, he just takes any attempt, any excuse to boost. Strange things in your pockets. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not a clip-on. Hmm. Still here often? 
Uh, Catch you later. So what? If only I could leverage your power. Okay, now quickly. Oh, just in time, I think. We still got Lin. <laughs> Guybrush is not. <laughs> it's not Indiana Jones. Oh, oh God! Ah, three wood. You have made the greatest mistake of your life. In my new corporeal form, I will scorch these lands to the ground, only to rebuild them in my nefarious, almighty image. So, you like your new setup? I do. Cantina, <laughs> bro, you want to spot me on this one? Men pledge their allegiance to me. Our brotherhood is a bond forged in the flames of hell. North. Perhaps I will revel in this union of brothers for a moment. Before burning the world. Terror will come to this manatee, rest assured. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was off. Yeah, he can't, he can't move the body. Hey there, Mer uh, Santino. Aloha. How's the body treating you? What? Remarkably well. It's only a matter of time before I gain control of my limbs. <laughs> oh boy, then we're in for it. I shall rewrite your definition of misery. You're literate now too? Not completely. <laughs> oh, come on. You think I can get your vote to the Brotherhood? We are very selective of our members. I just scammed your way in 15 seconds ago. How about a nod for the effort? Okay, okay, sure thing, Creepwood. <laughs> Creepwood, come on. You actually <laughs> like these guys? Like? I like no one, but I love the Brotherhood. What I have here is a group of men I can mold in my own image. Their fates are tied to mine, and my fate leads to the highest throne of hell. So Brotherhood actually suits you. Plus, Bug Eye is working on a creed. I love creeds. <laughs> Talk to you later, Murray. Take care, windbag. <laughs> um, Murray is like uh, Monkey Island's version of HK-47 in that he completely hates us and wants to kill us, but is just so utterly hilarious about it. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> how, how can you? How does that compare to a rifle? Now, uh, HK-47, <laughs> not AK-47, HK-47 is from Star Wars, <laughs> from the Knights of the Old Republic game. Oh, no one I didn't know, uh, understand that, I haven't played those. Uh, I'll send you a clip of some of his bits uh, later then. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, well, yeah, we're three or four down then. Ahoy there. Last no, hurdle. Uh, what is this about fish eyes alabaster? What do you say about giving a nod to old Guybrush Threepwood come voting time? Sure. Come on, what? Wait, really? You can have my vote as soon as you beat me in a pirate face-off. We don't want any weenies in the Brotherhood. Is this gonna hurt? Just your pride, Johnny Cakes. I give you my best pirate face, and then all you have to do is top it. Originality counts. I'm a pirate with a face. This should be a cinch. <laughs> okay. Ready? I'll go first. Oh, the rest are actually going to... Alright, we're ready for some pirate face-off action. It's Bug Eye, the Viceroy of Visages, versus... Uh, uh, Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Let him have it, Bug Eye. He it's did what? Oops, the uh, uh, name. <laughs> stinky, lazy eyed, meanie. <laughs> All right, my turn. Do your worst, Guybrush. Show this egalitarian bozo who's boss. Now, check this out. Uh. Oh, don't tell me this is going. This is going to be like insult fighting. It. It is. He's got the arr, stinky, lazy-eyed, meanie. Ha. That's it? Yep. 
Did you miss me saying originality counts? Or are you such a pathetic pirate that you had to copy my face to a T? Really, Guybrush? Come on, I added my own flavor. He might as well have been looking in a mirror. This is humiliating. Mighty pirate indeed. <laughs> Ouch. Bummer, dude. It just slipped out of her hand. Watch, she'll realize her mistake and hurry back for it. Nope. Wait for it. Wait. Oh, hello, there's one of those grubs that we need. So, pirate faces. Better go cop a few new mugs if you want to upgrade from miserable embarrassment to just simple failure. Uh, okay, can we collect that? Actually, we can. An original signed Guybrush Threepwood. Morgan's gonna want this back. <laughs> yeah, never in hell. Okay. Ahoy there. Now what? Let's go another round. Haven't had enough yet, Dollface. Hopefully we can skip through this Ready? a bit. I'll go first. He's got the... <laughs> Stinky, lazy-eyed, meanie. Oh, come on, not even a right. anything different. Uh, I think you need to shout out the orders for those. Here yeah. comes the... Okay. Hmm. We'll just have to figure out what beats what then. Hopefully that isn't going to be too annoying to get out. Uh, Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, I roll. Okay, so we don't have to go through the entire thing each time. Hi. Uh, arr, arr. Nice technique. Is he going? Is it going Hi. to be different Sa. with each of them, or is they? Are they going? Dead? Okay, it's a one-time thing. Later on. I think you will use your with Muri or her. Probably her. Hey Mo, what is it? Arr, arr. Ooh, that's a new one. <laughs> Is <laughs> squinting. Okay. Murray. Hey Mur uh, Santino. Aloha. <laughs> Your contorted cast couldn't scare a schoolgirl. In my day, I could turn a man to stone with a smirk. I can make blood boil with a scowl. And all I need is a reason. And lips. <laughs> Talk to you later, Murray. Take care, windbag. Okay, let's hope that that was enough. Uh, where is it? Okay. Right there. Now what? Hmm. I'm ready. Well, I get the feeling we'll have to do ready? multiple rounds of this first. then, and he will open up new ones each. Here comes the Arr, stinky, lazy eye me. <sighs> Did you do a face yet? I just see general disfigurement. Now check this out. <laughs> okay. Who does even more? It's the Arr! nasty tweaking Gomer. Bye. Gnarly. Cheap whistle has made it through the first round. Yep, come on. Nice. But can you top this? It's the Arr! Hooded, cross-eyed geezer. <laughs> I've seen a tougher face on a newborn. Check this one out. Let's see. Uh... Here comes the Arr! stinky, lazy-eyed Gomer. Bye. 
Bug Eye wins after yet another unoriginal face by Scrapwood. You're about as creative as my great aunt Margarine. Was she very creative? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, okay, so we we on. just have to not repeat anyone, anything. Uh, but... I just realized I'm so vain. Uh, am I more right between us two? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there. Let's go another round. Haven't had an. Okay, I think the deal is to just Ready? not cop use anything that's been used already. Here comes the stinky tweaking Gomer. Here comes trouble. Okay. Uh, lazy-eyed geezer. So he he has. You stinky tweaking and Gomer. It's the size hooded, lazy-eyed geezer. Mm. We're through the first round. Nice, but can you top this? He's got the <laughs> nasty cross-eyed meanie. Mm. Oh, is this a pilgrim face competition? I could have sworn you said pirate. Let me show you. Uh, hmm. yeah, I feel like we those last ones. I feel like we are missing some. Yeah, so I, I, think, we, I hmm? think we need to get him to use those three before we can. Hmm. Well, we still have the conquistador upstairs. Uh, I'm sorry, up throat. He's got the uh, and that's oh, yeah. the stinky, tweaking Gomer. Bye. A repeat face, and Bug Eye retains his belt. You've got nothing, boy. I'm just warming up. Are you, are you trying to go all with him? Uh, let's actually oh, try yeah. to defeat him. Now what? Okay, he Later. So long. Yeah, let's that, head up. I guess that, I guess that would make sense. But we would only be getting one thing out of uh, the Kava. Oh, this the wind slow has come out? Maybe. But that'll still ah, leave us with my missing. Could you do me a favor? Shoot. I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of that yellow muck. Dangerous stuff that is makes my eyes go wilder than a frothing Pomeranian. Okay, one drink coming up. Okay, that should be easy to get. And I see no Winslow. Hi, Chief. How's that drink coming along? Don't worry. Arr! Why was that not a pirate face? Intimidating. Arr! I am an explorer and esteemed adventurer. I don't do those sort of things. Oh, not even a little? Not even a little. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Take care. Okay, let, let's investigate the ship. In case Winslow is on the ship, maybe you need to knock the door. Yeah. Hmm. After that, we will have to get him his dream. Wait. What was that light from the... Everything okay in there? Most certainly, sir. I'm just relaxing with a glass of warm milk. Okay. And Winslow, how you feeling? I don't need your sympathy, three wood. I'll string you up the lizard mast and let the girls pick the flesh off the bones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so not great. <laughs> 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 One more. Winslow. Not your box of buddy, Captain Skippy. You'll say my name with fear, or face the wrath of my cutlass. Yeesh. <laughs> okay. No face off with him then. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get have to get the Kava some of that icor then. 
We'll have to figure out what we need to do with raising the level. Oh, hello. Hey, you, Rabble Rouser. <laughs> Who yes? else? Are you enjoying your time with the democratically united brotherhood of the manatee interior? How can I not? Can't wait to be voted in. We'll see about that. In the meantime, I don't want any trouble. We got it nice and easy down here. Okie dokie. Just some friendly advice. Don't be poking around up top and stay away from Dakava. The last thing this manatee needs is his sense of direction restored. We don't need to be getting to any sacred maiden grounds. Seriously, I've never seen manatees mate before, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to be inside one when I do. I'm glad Amen. we're on the same page. <laughs> Hi. So what you of that? I propose a toast. It's a special right. Pirate History Month. Woohoo! Uh, he drank just because it's freaking Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, bro. Glad to see you're indulging. Oh, we didn't even need to distract him for that. Okay. Let's get right back up with that and see what that might progress. It's still impressive that Kyphers even manages to climb all the way back. One mug of safe to drink orange icor. Ugh. Yeah. A mug full of the bily bubbly. Ah, refreshing. Uh. Hiya, Chief. Yes, Grooman. What do you want me to do, Captain? I'm parched. I would love a drink, but none of any of them. Okay. Okay, you already hey, had your drink. Right Take care. Wait. Oscar do the, the, the yar again. Well, nah. Hiya, Chief. How's that? Don't worry. Wait. Okay, he just wants to All stop. Right then. Take care. Hmm. I think we need to give him the yellow stuff. So, uh, if he... Oh, okay, if he does that, he gets... He does a pirate face. <laughs> exactly. And again, get out of my head! Hey, my man! <laughs> like I need a new enchanted like helmet. Like. I dig it. Manatee, don't dig it. <laughs> Where do we even get access to it? Uh, Probably no, up there as well. <laughs> And he slows down. Hmm. I think you want, if you do that, you go up there and try again for maybe it will change the color up there. Uh, uh, hello. Uh. A monkey face. I like it. Oh, okay. And I'm guessing we're getting the last bit from the iron monkey here then. Uh, let's see. Uh, monkey. Not where I wanted to go, but close enough still. Okay. Yogi, my man. Okay. I dig it. Okay, done that. And maybe with oh that should bring the can we get yes we can. Quickly. Also, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be one cup of more like corrosive, ultra toxic manatee bile. Delish. Yeah, that that's probably more like stomach acid. Also, wait. I was just to go and refill my glass, and yeah, nah, I don't Much want better. to anymore. Well, better anyway. Okay, whilst we still okay, that's that didn't use it. Uh, yeah, I had the idea if it's that corrosive, it might clear out the path, which it did. Okay. Huh, look at that. Somebody should really return this to their local library. Modern torture made easy. 
Yeah, I really hate to break a sweat while breaking the wills of my enemies. Creepy. But kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> I suspect I know someone would enjoy using that. Yep. Okay. Um, actually, it's this one to go back to Le Flay. Then we go up from here. Poison the captain. Oh, well, uh, he's not yeah. <laughs> the explorer. And yeah, where do we find the last face then? Your mug, sir. I thought I told you, no yellow. Those other flavors are for wimps. Are you trying to kill me? I told you I lose complete ocular control. Okay, so we need to fake it somehow. Maybe you need to mix it with other? Yeah, maybe mix it with the orange? Yes. Hmm. Also, I think we need to mix these to get us... With a little elbow grease? I can swap the covers on these two books. Not sure why we'd want to do that, and one is obviously too big for the other. Oh no. Hmm. Actually, I think I might know what something we need. This is now the most useless torture manual ever. I should be picky about who gets this. Okay, I, I think we need to get someone to read that for us so we can skip through it. E hey, Murray, can I interest you in this torture manual? Aha! I wrote the book on torture. For instance, taunting a man with his greatest desire is a good form of psychological warfare, as is an Indian rub. How so? Do you yearn to reap the incredible benefits of membership of the Brotherhood? Sure, that'll be okay. Well, I'll never let you in, ever! Does it scorch your insides, Threepwood? Does it fill you with painful sadness and gas? Uh, something does, but I think I swallowed some bile earlier. Okay. Murray, <clears throat> I mean, Santino. Do you want to have a look at this new member's manual to the Brotherhood? You might find it pretty interesting. Reading is for the feeble. Oh, I just thought these initiation rituals might strike your fancy. The first step in drawing and quartering your victim is... Wait, wait, what was that? Just going over some of what I can look forward to when I'm voted into the Brotherhood. <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> Why, that's positively malevolent. Look at all the blood. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Wait a minute. Let me see the cover. Ha! It's the genuine article. Too bad I can't have your vote. Aha! You should be careful what you ask for. Consider my vote yours, and your demise imminent. <laughs> okay, so that's what we had to do to trick him into give, uh, getting his vote. <laughs> okay. Um, oh hmm. dear. Okay, okay yeah, uh, mix orange with yellow. If that even works. Then you mix it with the brown. I don't probably have made that yoke. Yep. He just empties it out. <laughs> okay, now it's orange acre. One mug of safe to drink orange icor. Ugh. Hmm. Then how do we get him to drink the yellow if we can't mix them? Hmm. Yeah, I'm very good. Ugh. I'm very confused here. So we still have this thing here. Actually, if we could get that thing on his dev head device, uh, it would make it the it would make the yellow look orange. So let's see if we can trick him into putting that thing on. Uh, did you forget something? Hmm? Yeah, we need to get we. I first Sir, want to see. If I may have a word. Who? How are you doing, Winslow? 
Can I get you anything? Mogul bile? I am well, thank you. I wanted to inform you, as I was crawling back under the covers, I came across something uh, unsettling. Uh, Another outbreak of Polynesian bed mites. No, 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 no. And I've seen my fair share of disturbing things between the sheets, sir. Ahem. <laughs> what was it, Winslow? I believe a threat, sir. I left it over on the gangplank. It came with a note. Something about this being what happens to those who try to interfere with the Brotherhood. Wait, how did he get up here in the first place? Oh, really? Sea biscuit. Mmm, I love these things. Uh, and a seahorse head. <laughs> how did that guy even get up here? And where did he get his seahorse head from? A seahorse head. Maybe he snuck up Giant behind the house. These things like crackers. Man, if somebody made little fish-shaped snack crackers for people, they'd be sitting on a gold mine. <laughs> oh dear, he doesn't know. <sighs> yep, I saw one of those grubs. I think. Yep. A manatee throat grub. And I guess this is what Dakaba is after. Okay, uh, let's have a peek inside while we're at it. it probably gets shouted at. Everything okay in there? Most certainly, sir. I'm just relaxing with a glass of warm milk. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Okay, he's through this, uh, the lines again. Okay, uh, grub, then. Splendid! You found a manatee throat grub. Let's build a cochlea. That's the plan! Only 99,999 uh, left. Uh, come again? Each grub yields such a small amount of usable husk. By calculations, I'll need another 100,000. <laughs> right. This is no laughing matter, Three Willow. We don't have time to collect that many grubs. On the contrary, time is all we do have. Rest assured, it will all pay off in the end. This is bananas. New plan. Find the actual cochlea. Okay, now if we give him this, will he put it on? Maybe this will make a better monocular? I don't think so. This is prescription. Hmm. You need to break it apart? Maybe. Hmm. What? Wait. I'm just <laughs> it's random. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do we need to use the yellow stuff to corrode it off? Could be. But how would that work? Not sure, but let's get rid of this one first. Ah, a mug full of the bily bubbly. Ah, refreshing. Yeah. Okay, but that is how we're going to need. Oh, actually, what? Manatee uvula. Well, it's a delicacy in some cultures. Uh, <laughs> no thanks. Well, they're, all, they're all endangered, if I remember right. Or were endangered. Hmm. Made in game? All right, thank you. It's been saving that every time. Doogie, my man. I like that. I dig it. The heck Whoa. is Bug Eye even beating up on the over there? Do, do you even want to ask? Nope. Okay. We get more bile. Let's see if there's anything else over that way. Nope. Hmm. I think we're at a point that we're going to have to look up a hint. Or get a hint from Guybrush. Check the time. Yeah, it's almost time to... For next time, then, we'll have to... Well, figure something out. Hmm. 
Actually, what is all of this? Okay, we... And we can't look at it? Hurt the manatee? It's an animal. It doesn't seem to mind. Note to self. Keep bug eye away from the spinner K C pony shelter. <laughs> yeah. Uh it doesn't seem to be an animal friend. Seahorse thingies. Seahorse eats plankton, manatee eats the seahorse, mutineers hijack the manatee. Ah, the circle of life. But I don't think that's how it works. I shouldn't defile the seahorse head any more than I have to. Okay, well, best of skulls, I... Best of... <laughs> But yeah, we're at the two hour mark, so <clears throat> yeah, we'll need to call it here. Like, we have an idea of how, what we need to do to progress, but we just need to figure out the steps in between. We need to feed the kava the orange, uh, the yellow bile, which we do by getting this thing into his eye device. Um. Yeah, then we get a new face from him, but I think we'll still be missing one, then. Um, yeah, then we just need to beat Bug Eye in the, in the face off, and then we should be able to get into the Brotherhood, get the Cochlea, uh, get back up, and get this manatee where it bloody needs to be. Yeah. Oh, dear. But for I now, though... <laughs> Yes, I am so, so concerned. <laughs> yeah. For now, though, we'll have to call. We, yeah, we have to call it here. So, yeah. Thank you, anyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you for you know, chilling along for a bit, little tree. Even though we had to go. Uh, it, if they are streaming themselves, we might raid them. Uh, but yeah, and thank you as always as well, Hendrik here. I'm actually going to open up the browser now to take a look at who may who is streaming at the moment so to see who we can raid you're welcome as always my friend <laughs> my friend uh, okay and Apparently i heard myself the there yeah it seems that twitch unmuted itself again uh twitch unmuted open. itself again yep. oh dear <laughs> it, again it unmuted itself Okay, I'll just um, I'll just mute, mute the entire site. Uh, let's see, Lil Tree is indeed live with Stardew Valley. Uh, Brandon the Chihuahua, a friend of a friend, is also on, uh, 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 online streaming Starbound. Uh, Viking Blonde is on. Okay, uh, your pick as usual then: uh, Lil Tree with Stardew or Brandon with Starbound. I say. Literally live. Okay. She has, she has been on our stream, so just fair. True. Okay. Just get a quick copy of the channel name. And then over here we do slash raid paste. Okay. Um. Da -da -da -da, anything? Tomorrow we'll be doing our Minecraft stream, as we've said we would be doing until we are done with Monkey Island. Uh, we'll be doing. We'll be picking up Showcase Sunday again after we are done with uh, well, monkeying around the Caribbean. Uh, by the time, by the yeah, we, we by the time that we should be done with this game, uh, Return to Monkey Island won't be out yet for quite a while. So until that comes out, we can pick up uh, <clears throat> Showcase Sunday again. And. Yeah, once Return comes out, we can put that on Saturday instead of Minecraft for a bit. Hmm. And that's about that, I think. Yep. Okay, so I'll start the raid. And then... <clears throat> Just don't okay. go down her farm. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone else who has been watching, thank you as well. And... Yeah, like I said, tomorrow we'll be doing Minecraft. We'll be returning with Technomage in the you know, on Tuesdays and Fridays of the next week because I have a late shift on Thursday. So yeah, by the time I should be streaming, I'll be at work. But Friday I have off, so we can stream then. All right. 
uh, unless they act, unless they write me in for a shift on you know, the weekend all of a sudden. But yeah, unless that happens, we should be good for Friday. <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> thanks again. Anyone has been watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folk. Now we're going to go to steal uh, Lead Tree's uh, TV.